With next generation solid state batteries, we will further improve battery performance on several fronts. Imagine driving an electric car that can travel over 700 miles on a single charge, and you can fully recharge it in just a few minutes. What's more, these batteries never catch fire or explode. Sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? Well, not if you have a solid state battery powering your car. Solid state batteries are the next big thing in battery technology, and they could be the kiss of death for gas powered cars. Join us as we discuss solid state batteries and how they could spell the end for gas powered vehicles. Before we go into details, it is important to first understand what a solid state battery is. You know how most batteries have liquid stuff called electrolytes inside them that makes them work? Well, solid state batteries are different. They use solid instead of liquid for both the electrodes and the electrolyte. That means that they can store more energy, charge faster, last longer, and be safer than regular batteries. This fundamental difference brings several advantages and potential benefits. Solid state batteries can use different kinds of solids for the electrolyte, like ceramics, plastics, glasses, or mixtures of them. Some examples are LiPon, LLZO, PEO, and sulfide-based glasses. The type of electrolyte depends on things like how well it lets ions move through it, how strong it is, how well it handles heat, and how well it matches with the electrodes. For the electrodes, solid-state batteries can use materials like lithium metal, graphite, silicon, or other materials that can hold or release ions. Lithium metal is a good choice for the anode because it has a lot of capacity and a low voltage. But it can also grow spikes that can poke through the electrolyte and cause shorts or fires. To avoid this, some solutions include covering the lithium metal with protective layers, using electrolytes that have holes or gaps in them, or squeezing the battery. Solid-state batteries have been used in some devices like pacemakers, RFID tags, and wearable devices. But they are not very common in electric vehicles and other big devices because of some technical and economic issues. However, today many companies and researchers are working on making and selling solid-state batteries for electric vehicles. And there have now been reports that we're very close to a breakthrough. Toyota and other companies like CATL and NIO have announced their solid-state batteries, and the common opinion now is that these batteries will spell the end for gas-powered cars. One of the key reasons behind this belief is the tremendous potential of solid-state batteries to dramatically increase the range of electric vehicles. Toyota, for example, claims that their solid-state batteries will enable EVs to travel more than 746 miles on a single charge. This is more than the range of most petrol-powered cars currently available on the market. And it's fair to say that such an impressive performance leap has the power to capture the attention of consumers and make them take notice of the EV market. Range anxiety has been a significant concern for potential EV buyers. The fear of running out of charge and being stranded has often deterred people from embracing electric mobility. However, solid-state batteries hold the promise of mitigating this anxiety. Another reason why these batteries could end the domination of gas-powered vehicles is that solid-state batteries, unlike conventional lithium-ion batteries, have the potential for fast charging times, allowing EV owners to recharge their batteries in minutes rather than hours. This would make recharging an EV as convenient as refueling a gas-powered car. Toyota claims that its batteries can charge fully in 10 minutes. And apart from that, undoubtedly, electric vehicles already have a significant advantage when it comes to operating costs compared to their gasoline-powered counterparts. EVs typically cost about half as much to power per mile as traditional internal combustion engine vehicles. This cost advantage is poised to be further amplified with the advancements Toyota and other companies are making in battery life and charging technology. Public charging stations charge per minute, so this means that if EVs only need to spend 10 minutes charging, the amount to be paid will be reduced drastically. Additionally, as the charging infrastructure continues to expand, it is expected that charging costs will become more competitive and affordable. This will further enhance the cost advantage of EVs over time. 
when considering the combined benefits of lower operating costs per mile and the potential reduction in charging expenses, it becomes evident that owning an EV is becoming increasingly cost-effective compared to conventional gas-powered vehicles. At the end of the day, people are naturally drawn to systems that don't burden them with high maintenance costs. This is precisely why gas-powered vehicles might find themselves in a bit of trouble. As you may be aware, the price of petrol has been steadily climbing, and unfortunately, there are no signs of it coming back down anytime soon. When considering the overall cost of ownership, maintenance expenses play a crucial role. Electric vehicles hold a distinct advantage in this aspect. Compared to traditional gas-powered cars, EVs generally require less maintenance. The absence of complex internal combustion engines, oil changes, and exhaust systems means fewer moving parts to worry about. Consequently, EV owners can breathe a sigh of relief knowing that they'll be spared from frequent visits to the mechanic and the accompanying hefty repair bills. Furthermore, the rising price of petrol only adds to the appeal of EVs. With each surge in petrol prices, the cost differential between driving an EV and a gas-powered car widens. EV owners can bypass these ever-increasing fuel costs altogether and embrace the benefits of cheaper electricity to power their vehicles. Charging an EV at home overnight or at public charging stations becomes a much more cost-effective alternative to constantly fueling up with expensive petrol. Toyota claims that its solid-state batteries will roll out in 2027, so we could say that's all the time that gas-powered vehicles have left. There are also other manufacturers trying to make solid-state batteries mainstream. One of them is CATL. At the highly anticipated Auto Shanghai 2023 event, CATL, a prominent player in the battery industry, made waves with its groundbreaking announcement about its proprietary condensed battery technology. This revolutionary battery has generated significant excitement and has the potential to reshape the landscape of energy storage. The standout feature of CATL's condensed battery is its remarkable energy density, which reaches up to an impressive 500 watt-hours per kilogram. It's important to note that while CATL markets its condensed battery as a solid-state battery, it actually uses a polymer gel-like electrolyte, making it a semi-solid-state battery. This distinction sets it apart from traditional solid-state battery designs. However, this technical nuance does not diminish the significance of the breakthrough achieved by CATL. The condensed battery's impressive energy density, coupled with CATL's commitment to advanced battery technology, has sparked great interest and anticipation. Also, NIO, a prominent EV manufacturer, has introduced a new 150 kWh semi-solid-state battery pack alongside their existing battery types. NIO's 150 kilowatt battery, supplied by Beijing We Lion Energy Technology, offers an impressive energy density of 261 watt hours per kilogram. This density surpasses CATL's 100 kilowatt hour packs and provides a 44.44% increase in energy density compared to CATL's unit, which stands at 180 watt hours per kilogram. Despite the slight weight increase of 20 kilograms compared to the CATL packs, the enhanced energy density of NIO's batteries contributes to improved performance and extended driving ranges. The 150 kilowatt hour battery pack consists of 384 cells, a significantly higher count than the 96 cells found in CATL's unit. The additional cells and higher energy density translate to increased storage capacity, allowing EVs equipped with these batteries to travel farther on a single charge. During the NIO Day event in January 2021, the Chinese carmaker made a big splash by unveiling its flagship ET7 electric sedan. Alongside the car, NIO also showcased its solid-state battery technology claiming it could deliver an impressive range of over 620 miles. However, it's important to note that SUVs, due to their less aerodynamic design and potential for greater weight, may have a slightly lower estimated range. For example, NIO's ES6 SUV is expected to have a range of around 930 kilometers, 577 miles. Nevertheless, NIO is continuously working on advancements, and future sedans from the brand could potentially exceed a range of 600 miles with a new solid-state battery pack. 
It's essential to consider that range figures can vary depending on factors such as regional conditions and testing cycles. Real-world performance may differ from the stated figures. NIO has encountered challenges in scaling up production and achieving cost parity with current battery technology. This could explain the significant time gap of over two years between the announcement of the solid-state battery and its actual availability for customers. Developing and refining new technologies takes time, and NIO is working diligently to ensure a successful integration of solid-state batteries into their electric vehicles. One thing is clear, though, and it is the fact that the days of gas-powered vehicles are numbered, as this new technology will no doubt phase out ICE vehicles. What do you think about this? Let us know down in the comments section.